guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lucy, if you haven't forgot who I am. I've been off now for about 10 days. I haven't uploaded. I've just been feeling really down with what's going on in the world right now. And the last thing I've been wanting to do is be like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. But like, I feel like makeup is such a good distraction and it is good to be keeping get, getting on with your life, you know. Of course, you have to stop doing certain things, but I just wanted to keep the YouTube going. I don't want to fall out of it, you know what I mean? I feel like if I fall out I might not get back into it. I feel like it's one of those things you have to keep going at. Um, and we're nearly at 10 subscribers guys. So if you're watching this video please subscribe because I've been trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark for literally about five months. So please subscribe if you're watching right now. Um, there's a giveaway anyway when we hit 10 subscribers. It's on my Instagram highlights. So it's really nice to be back. I feel like this is a great distraction. Makeup's a distraction for me. And if you're watching this video, I'd think that it's a distraction for you too. So today we're gonna to be doing a full face using my current beauty favorites. I've seen Jacqueline Hill's video a few years ago and I just thought it was really nice. And it just shows what I'm loving at the moment, whether they're really new out or oldies. Oldies, that was called oldies, but goldies. Um, and just what are my faves are and see if they work for you. So we're just gonna get into it. Okay, so I've just zoomed you in closer so you can see more of the makeup. Because don't care about my top, if you do, it's from Bershka. Um, so we're just gonna get into it. So my favorite primer at the moment, well, it's not even at the moment, it's been my favorite primer for maybe like a year now. And it is the Flormar Double Radiance Highlighting Primer. If you have not tried this, you are missing out big. You have no idea. When you put it on first, you look like a little tin man, but it is just, it just makes your foundation glide on. It's just, even if you could have the most full coverage, like, yeah, disgusting foundation, you know, them ones that are just like a layer of like cement on your face. If this is on beforehand, glow will peep through. And I just love that look at the moment, the glowy skin, but still full coverage, so. I'm just gonna pop this on. Um, this is only about 11 euro and I'm on my second bottle now. My first bottle lasted me maybe six months, which is really good since how I wear makeup a lot. You only need a small bit. Um, so yeah, since this whole isolation thing has been going on, has anyone else been like obsessed with TikTok? Like I just can't get off it. I love it so bloody much. So next up is going to be my eyeshadow base. So I have been obsessed with the P. Louise base. I use the shade Rumor 2. It is absolutely amazing. I have the 30ml. Is this 30ml? Yeah, 30ml one. It is amazing. I got this and it was like 20 euro, which is really good because it really is lasting me. Um, and then for my more like crazy, crazy looks, I use the P. Louise Mitchell Acid Rain. Uh, this is only 15 grams um, and it's like, <clears throat> Jesus, and it's like 17 euros. So it is very, very pricey for what it is, but the shadows turn out fucking insane. Like I was using this and I was like, oh my God, that is so like intense. It just like covers your lid so amazing. It's so full coverage. And then when I tried this, I was like, what the hell is this compared to that? Like they're completely on different levels. I don't know, you just wouldn't use this on a normal day look or glam. It'd be more very, very crazy and creative looks uh, to make the shadows that need Need to be like insanely you know how I apply the Louise base is I just put it on my back of my hand to warm it up use about a pea size I literally obsess with TikTok every single like sound on it is in my brain it is like properly in my brain when you're trying to find that one brush girl so I also put up on my Instagram that people want to ask me a few questions they're welcome to and I'll answer them throughout this Um, I only do any questions thing on my Instagram like four days ago I got so many questions so I can't imagine a lot are gonna ask me now you get me so we will see if we get any anyway so that is the P. Louise base on both eyes and um, just to prevent it from creasing I just use more of a fluffy brush and pop it like this so cause this look is gonna be kind of Deb's kind of looking or you know, kind of soft glam. We're not gonna be like using heavy colors. We're gonna be more using very light browns um, and kind of sparkles. So we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush 
and I'm gonna go in with Tanacon from the Conspiracy palette. I've been loving this palette recently. It is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm sure you've heard of it. So I'm going in with Tanacon, which is this light brown. I'm just using a fluffy brush. This is a Jeffree Star fluffy brush from Morphe. So if you've never done this before, I'm not even that good at it, but I'm just gonna try. Um, you can use the cell tape and pop it underneath, but I need to start practicing on doing it freehand. So we're just going to be doing it like out a bit. So just from like there. So someone asked, what is your favorite movie and actor? I love kind of thrillers from like the 90s. So I love, I love Silence of the Lambs. I love Sixth Sense. That's probably my favorite movie ever. Like I love sort of movies like that and just the older ones are so good. Yeah, so they're kind of my, my favourite ones would be Six Sense. That's probably my number one. Then I love Silence of the Lambs. I love The Butterfly Effect, an amazing movie. I love Seven. So yeah, if you haven't watched any of them, they are unbelievable. My favourite actor would be, I love Daniel Craig. I just fancy the arse off him. Um, if you don't know who he is, he's James Bond. He is just the most beautiful person ever. Um, he kind of looks like what Alan will look like when he's older. I never thought about that. I feel like Alan might look like him. Maybe that's why I fancy him so much. Um, so yeah. So we're just beginning to wing it out. I don't want it to be a harsh line popping out. I want it just to be like very soft. If you know what I mean, like that. And if you're struggling to really see it, you can go in with more product. If you want, just go very, very lightly. Like that. That's better. So we're going to move on to the other eye and I'll be back. It is personal preference how much you want to drag it out. Um, I'm just going to do it a tiny bit out more. Yes. So the next step is to go in with a bit of a darker brown and not too much at all. We don't want to overpower this look. This is meant to be soft glam. So we're going to go in with Diet Root Clear. So Diet Root Clear is this brown here. It is actually a lot darker and the PB's base proper makes eyeshadows pop. So this will be even more darker than it looks in the pan. So we are just going to go in with a smaller blender brush. This is from Blank Canvas. This is the E25. So we're going to go in with a tiny bit of Diet Root Clear. When I say tiny, we're not going to overpower this look. So we're just putting it there. And then along the lash line. And just keep repeating till it looks a bit more dark. So I'll be back in a minute once I do that. Okay, so that is eyeshadow done on both eyes. So don't worry if it's getting a bit messy out here. We're going to be using Duraline at the end anyway. I just put it here along the lash line and then whatever was left on the brush, I just drive it out. So it's still looking very natural. So you can just see there's a lot more depth right around here. And you can see more of a transition into the lighter colour. Oh my god, I forgot to say one of my favourite movies, Ghost. That is probably second or third. So you can make it darker if you want, but I'm not going to. So I want it to be really like, not natural, but you know what I mean. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to cut the crease. So how I cut the crease personally is I go in with your line first, make the whatever I want to do, and then go in with the Hockey Louise base. So if you want to be a makeup artist or you love makeup, the first thing I'd recommend to get is your line. It is so bloody good. And it lasts a really long as well. Like, okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna clean my brush. Like I have so many different variations of the same brush, but I always reach for the same ones. So I'm gonna go back onto it, onto the questions and see if you've got any more. So another question is, what are your favorite brushes and favorite concealer? I'm looking for a new one to try out. Um, my favorite brushes, I absolutely love the James Charles Eye Set from Morphe. It is absolutely amazing, quite affordable, and they are just beautiful brushes, they really are. Um, I love the Jeffree Star and Morphe face ones. I'm not obsessed with the eye ones, but I love the face ones. Um, I like blank canvas eye brushes, but I don't like their face ones. I feel like the face, a lot of hair comes out of them. Um, and then I love the Nima brushes. I have two Nima brushes and I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I've only had them a while now, but I love them. Oh, and favourite concealer. I really like the Be Perfect Concealer. It's very, very brightening, but really lightweight. So if you were going for more like a dewy, kind of natural kind of look, I'd go for that. 
and I will always stick by my Patrice camouflage. I love that. So now we're going in with Duroin on a flat packer brush from Morphe. And we're going to shape out what we want before going in with the Pulis. It's just, so you have like a black or a brown and you go in with just go to cut your crease with Pulis face, then it makes it kind of a dirty kind of colour. It's just easier just to start with a fresh face. And if you don't know whereabouts to cut your crease, just look up like that and it will mark it where your natural crease is. So I've cut both my eyes with just the germline, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to use on the base. Um, although I said I wanted to only use the other Pilois base with creative looks, I'm going to do it today to show you what it's like. So this is it. It is blank canvas from the P. Louise and Mitchell Acid Rain collection. So this goes a long way. So you just need to put, it goes like that. Just put a tiny bit on your hand and just clean your brush. Let it warm up on your hand for a few seconds. And then just map it the exact same shape and then we'll go to the next step. So I have a question here and it says, what are you studying in college? So I do two college courses. One is sports fitness and gym instruction. Uh, I, I hate it so much, I, like I actually despise it. Like it's, I used to love working out, I was, used to be so fit and like so into the gym and now I fucking just, I hate it, I don't even like going to the gym anymore, it feels like a chore to me. I don't like it whatsoever, I want to drop out since the very start, my mum won't let me. Um, and then my other college course is makeup in Laura Malone Makeup Academy and I love it so much. It just it feels so right to me and I think that's another reason why I just hate the course so much because I know it's not for me. I don't want a future in it so it's just kind of like oh you know what I mean. It's so like hard to do something to bring yourself to do something when you just don't want anything to do with it. Um, I know but I just I hate it. Another question says you're so inspirational and I love watching your YouTube. That is so cute. Thank you very much. Um, that's she's a very nice girl who always supports me. So thank you for the love. Um, someone said, oh, they're also nice. They're all just like, why are you so gorgeous? Why are you so beautiful? Why are you so naturally pretty? Bitch. Look at me. <laughs> um, but it's just so sweet. Like people are just so nice. And thank you all very much. And a lot say, I'm loving your makeup looks recently, so thank you very much. I'm trying to be more active. And thank you for all the compliments on my face. It means a lot. Um, what's it called? So yeah, we're gonna go in with our glitter now. So and I'm gonna spray my brush because I have let it sit, you know, dry a bit for a bit too long. So I'm gonna go in with a Revolina brush. This is the 426, it's very weird looking, it's my first time using it, please don't ever hate it. I'm just going in with Max Fix Plus, I'm just spraying it, and then going in with the Inglot Body Glitter, and putting it all over the lid. That's actually fabulous, fabulous, who am I? Jesus. Um, so in college it's recommended to, well, you don't have to do it. But my teacher said that she put on these sort of glitters with more of like a fluffy brush instead of like like a packer brush. It's just more evenly distributed, nicer. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, that's what I'm trying today and I actually really like the look of it. It's so nice. I'll be back in a second when I have all the glitter on. So that is all the glitter on. So now we're going to go back in with a brown, we're just going to go in with Tanacon and just kind of blend that into each other and then kind of put a darker brown, maybe black, onto the lash line. My, my battery's going to die so I may get off and I'll come back when that's done. So this is the glitter on and I have kind of smoked the lash line there, not too much, but yes. That's what I've done and I used my rice here and Diet Root Beer here and then just mixed Diet Root Beer and Tanacon to kind of blend this. So the next step we're going to do is go with Geraline for the last time and we're going to clean up this just to make it more sharp. So you're just going to put a small bit on the back of your hand, literally that 
you can't even see it, it's that little. And then go in with some sort of brush, it can be an angled brush or it can be one of these. I like doing it with one of these. Make sure it's clean though, and then go in with it. And then just, see, this is what I do, sometimes I do it too high up. So just do it from kind of here. And then bring it out. Kind of like that. And of course you can go back and fix it up after. So I think that shape is lovely. Now I'm going to go do the other side. So that is the eyes done, like the shadow and all. I've cleaned up under here with baby oil and cut the crease, obviously, not cut the crease, and just cleaned up around here. I think it looks really, really nice and I'm really happy with it. So now we're going to put some mascara on and put some lashes on. So for mascara, I'm going to be using my go-to since I was like 12, which is the Essence Isle of Extreme Volume Mascara. This is the exact one. Well, I don't mean the exact same tube, obviously, but like this is the exact same one of it that I've been using for absolute years and I swear by it and so does my sister. So I'm going to be using that and then the lashes are my favourite lashes in the whole world. It's the So Sue Paris ones, don't mind, they're upside down. They're the most beautiful lashes ever. You can make them so natural or you can make them so like full glam. But I think they're the perfect look for kind of a dead look like this. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute and I'll pop them on. So that is my lashes on and my mascara on and I absolutely love them. These lashes are just insane. I think they look so like minx, you get me? If you're looking for an absolutely amazing mascara get this, it's like 250. It's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, that is the eyes completely done, but there's one last step actually and it is the waterline. I don't actually have um like a a nude curl pencil. But the Jeffree Star liquid lips are eye safe, so I'm going to use a nude and put it in the waterline. That is it in my waterline, it looks so nice. I used a mix between Drug Lord, which is the white and Mannequin, it just create the most perfect nude, so yeah. So I'm just going to go right back in with a tiny bit of the Floor Mart of the Radiance Primer again, just to put kind of under my eyes like a peak area where I would have put the baby oil to wipe it, um, the shadows away. So that's all I'm doing now. So I did get a good few questions on what foundations I recommend. So I will go to that right now. So my favourite foundation in the world is the Carter Beauty HD one. Where is it? The full measure. It is absolutely amazing. It is just, I'm obsessed with it. The coverage is insane, but it doesn't feel like heavy, if that makes sense. Um, I also love... Maybelline Fit Me. I love the Maybelline Dream Satin. I'm starting to really like the LA Girl Pro Coverage. I'm going to start using that on clients. And I really recommend them. Uh, Cardi Beauty is really good if you have oily skin. And the LA Girl is really good if you have dry skin. So yeah. Um, so the foundation we're going to be using today is the Cardi Beauty in Sticky Toffee. I absolutely love this shade. And I like the Benoffee one as well. So I'm going to put about three pumps on my hand and just let it warm up for a few minutes. Um, and I'm going to ask one more question. So someone said, were you a nail tech? Yeah, I was a nail tech. Um, I'm qualified and all. About maybe a year and a half ago, I was a nail tech. And I just, I don't know, it's really hard to like, every time it gets brought up, I kind of just like kick myself about it because like, it was such an amazing opportunity and I really did enjoy it. It's just I was getting so, so fed up because I could not get my time down. Um, I was doing gel at the time. I just, I hated it. I just, it was, I just couldn't work with it. I didn't like it whatsoever. My times weren't getting down and just when people, I just couldn't handle the pressure of like when people are like, oh, my nail broke. And I'm like, oh my God, you wanted them like out to here. I said they were going to break. Now I'm under pressure trying to like, fit people in to try and do repairs and like I don't know it was just a lot a lot of pressure when I wasn't confident enough to be doing it you get me but a few months ago I done my friend's nails with acrylic and I'd never used acrylic before and I loved it um so maybe like in the future I'd maybe like to do acrylic and do it I don't know um but I just think I just gave up way too easily and I kick myself about it all the time but yeah I was so I'm going to be using my Nima brush in, this is just the round head Kabuki. It is so good. 
and this of course is the shade Sticky Toffee. Don't be alarmed, I know sometimes it looks kind of greeny undertone, but it's actually not. Uh, it just comes across like that uh, as soon as you apply it, but then it just completely calms down. And I actually was really, really white today. I haven't tanned in weeks because, I don't know, I'm just kind of not in the humour to be tanned. Like, you know, scrub all my old and off and redo it just to sit in my house, like, in self-isolation, basically. Because I'm not... My mum and dad are being really weird and, like, won't let me out of the house because they're paranoid and all that shit. So I'm not allowed to leave the house. So I'm kind of stuck inside at the moment, so... There's not much I can do with tan on except make TikToks and I can just use my Bellianta Instant Tan for that. That's what I have on now, which is so handy. I love it so much. Um, I'd highly recommend any of the Bellianta tans. They're absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to blend this foundation in and I'll be back. So that is the foundation all blended in. Um, so for concealer, I'm going to be using the Be Perfect one because I want this skin to be really glowy, dewy. Um, and that is, that's the perfect concealer for it. And for contour, I'm going to be using the Carter Beauty stick thing. It's the Troche Duo Contour Stick. Uh, that also has um, a concealer on it, but I just don't want to use that for this look. And for blush, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Peach Gasm. What's that what called? Peach Gasm. Incredible. I love it. So let's get into it. Okay, these are zoomed in for the moment. Okay. So, here is the Carter Beauty. I apply it right under the bone, you can feel it. Just slot it in right there. Or if you don't like where your natural one falls, you can draw it wherever you want. Just don't do it too low and always blend it up. I love liquid, liquid, is this liquid? I love cream contour. I do messily enough. It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. So to avoid creasing, I've been recently trying to not put foundation along here um, so it's not too much like build up of product which will give you creasing obviously. So yes. Don't mind me, I love blush. Like a lot. So that's it, done. See ya. I'm messing. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a minute when this is all blended in. Okay, so that is all blended in, and it looks on camera that my face is much like lighter than my body, which doesn't really look like that in real life. So don't be fooled, people. Let me see if I can lower this down. I'll put it to natural light. Oh fuck, it's actually really dark. That's what it looks like in real life. Maybe I'll lower it down while we're just doing base and we will see. So that's not blended in, it looks lovely, but I'm very, very like, my skin's too wet, if you get me, it's too oily. So that's why I go in with Carter Beauty Powder. I, this is the shade Banana. I've been using this for a few months now and I really do like it. I don't apply it where I put highlight or bronzer, but I just put it like, say right there. So we'll tap it in, we're not going like that. We're tapping it in. And we just use a smaller brush to do under the eyes. So I'm just going to use this highlighter brush because it's clean. And just get a small bit. And just pack it on underneath. And then use the bigger brush to dust it away. So now we're going to be going in with our bronzer. So for bronzer I'm using the Carter Beauty Apollo. Um, I actually love it. Real quick I just want to go back and say that the Carter Beauty Concealer Stick is really good. It's only like six euro i think um the concealer can be perfect though i think it may be 20 around 15 maybe but it's really good lightweight um and the peach gasm is absolutely beautiful it's kind of pricey but i don't know i haven't went through my full tube yet so i can't really give you like how long for the last or anything but i just love the look of it so if you really make blush and you want to invest then yeah so this is the Apollo palette it is warm toned so we're going to be using that today um, and I just like to go in with all of them as a mix and we're not going to rub, we're going to hack but we're not going to go really intense today because as I said this is like a soft glam kind of Debs look so I like that look, it's not too harsh but you can still obviously see it's there so I'm going to do the rest of my face, I'm going to do around here 
around here, and then my nose, and then the other side. So I'll be back. So that is the bronzer all over the face done, and I'm really liking it. It's completely warmed up the face and doesn't look overpowering though at the same time. So now we're going to go in with blush. Even though we've done our liquid blush already, I just am obsessed with blush. So yeah. So we're going to be going in with MAC, which is the shade Barely Precious Extra Dimension Blush. I'm obsessed with this. I've been using it for... Oh god, I've got a few months now. I've been using this ever since a friend of mine called Kirstie Should Makeup as well. You should check her out. It's Kirstie Devil Makeup. I'm fairly sure. Let me check. Yeah, Kirstie Devil Makeup, her name is. And uh, you should check her out. She's really good at makeup. But she recommended this blush to me and I use it like every day. So I love blush. Okay, I'll put it on that. because uh, I think blush on like it likes your devs or at a wedding. You can wear this to a wedding, it's so nice. Um Blush is just so elegant looking and I love the way it's coming back into fashion. So yeah, of course you don't have to go this heavy on blush. I just like people to look at me and go, Jesus, she loves her blush, doesn't she? So yes. There we are. I put it on my nose as well because Kayla anyway does. So yes. I'm going to go in with Ofrac. This is my favourite highlighter in the entire world. It was out of stock for like a year. Um, but she was on the waiting list, which is so cute, and she had me for her birthday. So I'm gonna apply that all here. Um, nose, lips, up here, basically everywhere. So I'll be back, because my camera is gonna die. I'm so sorry, guys. I'll show you real quick. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'll show you real quick what it's like. It is just so, so beautiful. So I'll be back in a minute when that's all done and then we will get onto the lips and my chest. So yeah. Okay, so that is the highlighter done. It looks amazing. So I added it back basically all over my face to give me back that glowy effect without being like just needing to be set basically. So now I'm just going to put in one colour to meet my eyes. So I'm just going to go in with Tanacon just on a little blender brush and just dust it underneath. Usually I'd use a little brush and just pack it on. But I want this look to kind of just blend. I don't want it to look like harsh whatsoever. I just want a tiny bit. 